Now, uh, the exact location we have uh, drawn. So, uh, this one is the lacrimal gland and we can see clearly the position of this gland. This one is the superior lacrimal canal. This one is the superior lacrimal canal. This one is the inferior lacrimal canal. This is the inferior lacrimal punctum and superior lacrimal punctum. So these are this is inferior lacrimal punctum. And this is the superior lacrimal punctum. And uh, this one is the lacrimal. And this is the nasolacrimal duct. This one is the nasolacrimal duct. So, this is the exact location of the lacrimal gland above the eye. This gland is situated here. And these two canals are superior canal and inferior canal. This one is the lacrimal sac and this portion or duct is known as nasolacrimal duct. So, if we gone through the histology then we can see this structure. So, this is the histological presentation of the lacrimal gland or the actual structure of a part of a lacrimal gland where we can see the ducts, ductules and acinas. So basically it is a serous gland. Now moving to the structure of the lacrimal gland as I have told before that it is basically a branched tubulo alveolar gland and the acinis are found are called serous acini. So when we see microscopically then it consists of glandular tissue, stroma and septa. These are the three basic uh, parts of the lacrimal gland. It is lined by a capsule as the outermost limit. So in the diagram Below, we can see the capsule, the ducts, ductules and acinas. It contains acini and ducts arranged in the lobes and lobules which I have told and they are separated from each other by a septa. Now what is a septa? Septa is the membranous structure which divides particular parts of the body. Here the septa is called fibrovascular septa. The acinis are lined by a single layer of pyramidal cell. We can found here these are pyramidal cells which is the lining cells of the acinas. So 
so the pyramidal cells are surrounded by a layer of myoepithelial cells so these are the pyramidal cells which having we can see the basal nuclei here so these cells are surrounded by the layer of myoepithelial cells and uh, if uh, we see the pyramidal cells we found that uh, there are serous type of cells having eosinophilic granules eosinophilic granules are present in these type of cells and there are round nucleus at the base so this is the diagram regarding that the secretion of the acinar units so these are the acinar units and their secretion is drained by the connecting channels so the secretion the acinars are responsible for the formation of the fluid and their secretion uh, that fluid is called tear and these tears are actually expelled by the contraction of the myofibrils and these acinar cell secretions are actually drained by the connecting channels which to begin with the intralobular so first of all these channels are formed intralobular and then they become extralobular and lastly they open in the ducts so these acinines which are responsible for the production of the tears and the tears are expelled by the contraction of the myofibrils because the myoepithelial cells are present at the base of the pyramidal cells so this is the way how they form the intralobular and extralobular channels to meet with the ducts now the ducts which are the ducts are lined by two layers of epithelial cells the inner lining is formed by the thick cylindrical cell and the outer layer is of flattened cell so in the ducts we can found the two layers so cylindrical cell and the flattened cells are found so the after the glandular tissue there is stroma of lacrimal gland which is formed by the mesodermal tissue and uh, which contain connective tissue elastic tissue lymphoid tissue plasma cells nerve terminals and blood vessels so these things are the common structures because uh, these tissues and cells are present in any other part of our body also now the artery and vein supply of the lacrimal gland the main gland is supplied by the lacrimal artery and uh, a branch of ophthalmic artery sometimes a branch of transverse facial artery so this kind of artery supplies are there the lacrimal veins draining the gland they join the ophthalmic vein and draining the fluid so the diagram below showing the microscopic structure and this is the little part of the lacrimal gland which shows the different glands or the glandular tissues stroma and septa as well as the capsule the ducts ductules and acinas these three parts are present in the lacrimal gland the lymphatic drainage is also there the lymphatic drainage is along with the conjunctival drainage into the pre auricular lymph nodes like the blood supply the lacrimal gland also having the nerve supply the sensory nerve supply comes from the lacrimal nerve a branch of ophthalmic division of the fifth cranial nerve the sympathetic nerve supply is also there secreto motor fibers are derived from the superior salivary nucleus so it is as a whole the description of the structure of the lacrimal gland which help in the production of the tear and act as the protective part of our eye apart from the lacrimal gland some other accessory uh, 
uh, uh, glands hmm, which are also called the accessory lacrimal glands are there like the glands of Krauss, glands of Wolfram, infraorbital glands, glands in the caruncle and plica semilunaris. So these are the accessory lacrimal glands which are present in the eye. So this is all about the structure of lacrimal gland. Hope you people can understand. If you have any query or question, you can ask or can write in the comment box. Thank you.